Hey, what's up guys? So recently I was invited by the Riot developers to test out the new Agent Astra alongside some of the biggest content creators in Valorant. In this video I will give you an explanation of how to use her abilities and where you should be placing her within a comp team in order to make sure that you can win every game that you play with her as soon as she is released on Tuesday the 2nd of March. If you want to see some live gameplay footage of her I will be streaming right now so as soon as you finish this video you can head on over to twitch.tv forward slash flow ascending and come and check out how myself and other content creators will be playing with her. Alright so without wasting any more time let's just get straight into the game and check out how Astra is played. So as soon as you boot it up, you can see there she is, top left corner. She has a very cool intro an animation. I actually love it. It's probably the best one that they've released so far. That's sick. That's sick. I love that. <laughs> Alright, let's go into the game. Alright, so we're in game now, and the first question that you're obviously going to have is, what knife am I holding right now? It's in the new battle pass. You will see it on stream if you come and check it out. It's, uh, it's very cool. So we've got the Battle Pass knife, and then obviously I've got the Vandal and all of the other cool skins, but I'll show you that more on stream. Okay, so let's explain her abilities a bit more. First of all, she's not like any other agent. You are not able to just That's click her abilities. So if you try clicking ability, you can hear her say, I need a star. I need a star. So she needs a star to pick it up. So what that means is at the start of a buy round, you need to buy these, known as Astral Forms. So you have five with each round that you're able to buy, and they cost $200 each. So once you've got them, the way that you actually activate her abilities is you've got to press your ult. So if we go into our ult, this is what you can see. Now the cool thing about Astra is that you're able to place her smokes, her stun and her gravitational pull anywhere on the map. So I could literally be in my spawn and place her in their spawn if I want to. You press ult again to get out of that form. And now we can see that it's on the map. So we've got mouse button 5 is my gravitational pull. We've got Q as the stun and then we've got E for the smoke. So in order to understand what each one of them does better, I'll place them in front of me and you can see how they work. So we'll go one, two, three. Okay, so we'll start with the smoke. So if you press E on one of these, you can see it drops the smoke. It looks very similar to the Omen smoke, but it's a lot more pretty and colorful. When you go inside of it, it's just hollow. So it's very nice, it looks very aesthetic and uh, it creates about the same circle as the Omen smoke. Okay, so moving on, we've got the Q, which is the stun. This kind of works like the Breach Ult, where if they are stunned, they shoot a lot slower. So if I go inside of it, I can show you once again. So now I'm stunned, and you shoot incredibly slow, just like the Breach Ult. It's exactly the same thing, apart from you're, you're able to place it anywhere on the map. Okay, moving on to the last ability that you have is the Gravitational Pull. So you can see the circle that it creates around it is the same with the smoke and the stun. So if you, an enemy is inside of this and you pull it, it pulls them in. You're able to do really cool stuff with this uh, with other teammates such as say a raise ult or a raise nade or a killjoy nade. So if you manage to pull in like three, maybe even less, maybe just one enemy player, it's almost a guaranteed kill. Now what you can do is you can combine two things together as well. So we're going at ult form again, you press X to go in your ult and you're able to place stuff down. And then what you want to do is you want to do a pull, so it grabs the enemies, and then you can do a stun as well. So once they're in that pull, they can't go anywhere, and then you can custom, and they're trapped, and it's such a free, easy kill. So that's her abilities quickly explained. There's obviously a lot more that you can do with these combo-wise, which I can show later. But for now, let's just move on to the ult. So in order to actually use her ultimate across the map, you've got to go back into her ult form, her like galactic form. Once you are on the map, you want to right-click, and then you can see you're able to place this anywhere. So say if I place it backside B, it creates this, you can see this wall, right? So it's spinning. As soon as you uh, left click on the map, it creates a wall. And then what you can do is position the wall wherever you want. And it's just like the Viper wall, apart from it goes all the way across the map. It's, it's ridiculous. Well divided. So there we go, place that down. You can see it being formed. It looks absolutely insane. Now the incredible thing about this, and it seems so broken at first, but believe me, it's actually not, is that you can't shoot through it. That's the first thing. And the second thing, you actually can't hear what's going on on the other side. So say if you were pushing B and the enemy team did this, let's do it again. Well divided. So if the enemy team did this, you would not be able to hear anyone on the other side. So if, if you're pushing inside of B, the best way to do it would be something like this. 
So you want to place it down and say, oh, okay, we want to push out of B main, go down lane and straight onto site. So you do that and you can run all the way to site without the enemy even knowing that you're running to site. Obviously, it's a bit obvious that you're kind of running there, but they won't be able to hear anything or shoot you. It blocks every single bullet. So that's actually really nuts. Okay, so I'll just give you another quick explanation of how to push a site with Astro whilst playing in an actual comp game. So what you want to do is first go back into the ult form. You want to place a smoke just like you would place Omen smoke, so one on short, one on heaven. And then what you can do is you can place two abilities together, as I said before, so you can place the stun and the pull. So before you push the site, you can obviously pop the smokes. One, two, that's it. And then you want to do the pull and stun. And then you can have someone flash, you can have a uh, rainer flash, a breach flash, whatever you want. And instantly it will pull someone out of the backside and they will be stunned as well. And it's such a free kill, it's so great for actual comp games. You've just got to make sure you're always communicating with your team. So if you are solo queuing and you want to play her while solo queuing, you need to make sure you're communicating with your team so everybody understands when to push and when to go. Alright, I'm going to go grab my simp how to noodle so that I can show you how her stun and pull actually works. Just to kind of show you more of like if somebody was back sight or gen of how they would be pulled out and then stunned. Alright, so I've got my simp how to noodle here now. Say hello, Mr. Noodle. Hello, idiot man. <laughs> so what I'm going to be showing you first of all is how to use it defensively. You can use it both offensively and defensively. So you can set up outside of a uh, hookah window. So if noodle jumps out, we can hear him drop. And I instantly use the pull and then stun. And then boom, you can peek it and he's stunned. Makes for a free, easy kill. Okay, Noodle, get yourself in Kobe. Why are you bully me now? I am big bully. Okay, and this is how you might play her offensively. So if you know that somebody plays Kobe a lot, you want to place two down again. You don't always have to place two, but it's quite good. So you can use the pull and you can peek it straight away. Or if you know they're quite a good player, you want to stun it. And then you've got more time. I suck. But you've got more time to uh, kill the enemy there. Okay, so also, as I mentioned earlier, you cannot hear anything past the wall. So once the ult goes down, you cannot hear anything on the other side. So Noodle is going to put the wall down just to show you that you can actually TP through to go from A to B and nobody on A will hear you go from A to B. So you Noodle put the wall it. down. So if you're holding sight, so he's just put the wall down and have you run through? Yep. So he's gone through the TP, I didn't hear a single thing, so if we go here we can check, he's not to be seen, and there he is. So you can actually put the wall down and go straight through the TP and the enemy will not have a single clue where you've gone. So this is actually so overpowered and bind, this will be abused a lot, but in a great way. And I cannot wait to see what pro teams will actually be able to do with this. So that's all that I'm going to show for now. I'm sure there will be a lot of great new outplays coming out with a smokes, stun and gravitational pull when she comes out. I just wanted to give you a quick explanation of how her ability works so that when you jump into your first comp game you are not completely lost and confused on what to do. If you want to see me play the new agent Astro live, come and check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash float ascending. The link will be down in the description. I am playing right now, so as soon as you finish this video, literally hop on over. I will be live streaming right now. I will also not only just be playing Astro, I will be playing Sage a lot and will be playing with people like Flights, Jonas, Marcus, Noodle, Grey FPS, all of the big guys in the Valorant community, so you will not want to miss this one. In tomorrow's video, I will show you actual Astra gameplay as I've got some clips already and I'll gain some more tonight. So be on the lookout for that one and I'll see you guys in the next video.